Howdy folks, this is Checkers back again with another episode of our Fallout 4 Let's Play, this time episode 71, which sees us starting out back here in Mitch's bar, and well, I did actually take the time out to go repair our power armor and even to upgrade our lovely, newly acquired, plasma-infused powerful assault rifle. Not quite to the level that I would like it to be. I don't have Gun Nut 4, so there are a few mods I can't put on it. And screws and aluminum may as well be gold and platinum, whether we're here in Far Harbor, back on the mainland. Because I ended up going back to the mainland, I had to uh, get some resources there and buy some aluminum and screws just to do everything. And I'm pretty sure somewhere between Far Harbor and Diamond City, someone picked me up shook me by my ankles, and made sure that most of my caps are at the bottom of a sea somewhere. At any rate, we're back. We're not quite broke, but we are considerably less wealthy than we were. But we're repaired, and we are better I armed. For one, won't go down unless I'm drunk. <laughs> hey, I wonder if he's taking bets on that. Anyway, let's go talk to Mitch and see what Everyone, cooking. make way! Did you really kill the queen? The Mariner said you did. Don't pester him, Debbie. Of course he did. Now this is what a badass looks like. In a lime green power armor wrong. suit. Well, Captain Avery didn't. Right. Holier than thou Avery got the right of it. And thanks for reminding me. Here's a round on the house. Well, thanks. Now. That's awfully friendly of you. That's awfully friendly of you. We have mainlanders coming in and out all the time. Worst of a lot are thieves or murderers. And the others we find floating face down in the harbor. But not you. Mitch, I mean, since he did the captain's dance, maybe your uncle? That's my own family business. Sir, Mitch is too damn proud. But we're worried about Uncle Ken. What's wrong? What's wrong with his uncle? Uncle Ken's the last one still living on the island. The last holdout. Crazier than a bag full of starved mole rats he is. Mitch sent him some of the fog condensers? So he might still be alive. He's safe from the fog. But the campground's got to be swarming with God knows what. Listen, it shames me to ask it. Oh, but he is my kin. Could you check up on him? and find some way to drag his hide back here. I'll pay, of course. Just the hide? Sure, I'll go look for him. I'll look for your uncle. His homestead's the old visitor center, inland. And look out, he loves his traps. Thanks. Alrighty, well, we'll look out and thank you all for your lovely um, personalities. And We are back outside, huzzah. Just a little generator kind of hanging out there, doing nothing. Alrighty. We've, as I said, got our power armor fixed up. We're going to stay with our 10 millimeter until we get into combat, since it's silenced, it and the uh, combat shotgun. But when things get squirrely, as I'm sure they will, Looks we'll like break out the new... Assault rifle. I really want to try that plasma assault rifle out. I haven't tried it yet. So let's see. We are going. Where are we going? What is this? Help small Bertha. Okay. I didn't notice that. Nick was doing his six million dollar synth impersonation. Guns, we can guns, build him better, faster, stronger. Great shop's got everything. And then he will be able to run against the wall at you full speed. Your time killing that trapper. Make it hurt. The way I've been hurting since I lost my den. Okay, Is Cassie. That a pip boy? I've heard about those. Mr. Small Bertha. Yes. Okay. I and a half caps. I want to hire you. Okay. What's oh, the boy. job? What's the job? Harbormen don't belong on this dock. If we keep clinging here, we'll bleed out and die. 
To get better, to grow stronger, we need land. Echo Lake Lumber Mill has power lines that connect to the old wind farm. If you clear the land, harbormen can wire up the condensers. Make it safe from the fog. Okay, right on. You're a pretty cool kid. You know, you're quite a remarkable girl. If you say so. I just don't want this pair to kill what's left of my kin. I know the money's a joke. But if my friends can resettle, I'm sure they'd do anything for you. And oh, you bitch. Um. Please, help. That, getting your head back was enough. Thanks. Okay, well. I think we... I see. They're undead, I'm telling you. Okay, anyway. Uh, and actually, I would like to take a moment to comment that that was a, an actual fairly cool kid for a Bethesda game. Okay, back into the world, and now let's see where we're going. Let's check out everything. So, changing tide, help small Bertha, help Mitch, hull breach, clear the trappers, the holdout, search for Uncle Ken. Well, that's right here. That's right, right here, right here. Okay, well, let's go. Well, we... We can fast travel to one. This is like living in luxury. Let's roll. Nick, hitch up the wagons. We're heading out. Hmm. Okay. And mm, let's do our very level best not to be right in between the exploding cars. So I'm pretty sure we've been through here. Oh, well. Seems there's someone new here. Hello! Go away! You see? You see those corpses? They're from me! You spawn them? Unless you're ready for the long walk. Go away! I'm sorry, Mitch. Your uncle was dead when I found him. Take, Take it easy. easy, Uncle Ken. Mitch sent me. Mitch, my boy Mitch sent you. Wait, he's your boy, and you're his uncle? A smart one. He sent me the fog condensers. Made it safe to breathe here. Glad to hear he still cares about his old uncle. But you, what? What have you done? They're coming. They're coming! Um... What's coming? What's coming? Who knows this time? I haven't reset my traps or repaired the defenses. Quick, do what you can with the workbench supplies. They'll be here soon. Um, uh, uh okay. We're, we'll use your workbench. Crazy Uncle Father. Um... Well, I guess we can build a couple of not-so-cool turrets. Can't really get them into any super positions, can we? Maybe. I don't know if we can get one, like, up there-ish. Uh, no. Okay, well, then we just get them where we can. Let's put one here. And we'll put one... Here, I know they're not very high off the ground or anything, but we don't really have a whole lot of resources to work with here. Okay, fine. Go there. And, uh, let's see. Maybe... Is there a wall we can put back up here? Uh, maybe we can just put one up, though. Oh yeah, no gaping holes there. Oh, no more wood walls for us. Well, let's break out the uh, shiny new plasma infused power rifle. Or sorry, assault rifle. Come on, there's got to be somebody left here. Cars are going nuclear. Ooh, 
we've got one wall that's doing very very little hmm no oh, hey look well we can put this back in place here they come goody Goification at its best. Okay, who threw that? Who threw that? You can have one too. All right. Someone coming. That's one way to get that cool one. And there we go. Talk with Uncle Ken. Well, we can talk with Uncle Ken after we collect all the goodies. Harpoon gun. And Let's see, don't want to miss anybody. We're going to need to get some coin back after our um, adventure. Okay, and let's go see who's down by the molten cars. Okay, fusion cell, 10, 10 millimeter rounds, 10 millimeter pistol. Leaded tempered trapper right leg. Sorry, I forgot to read off the other folks back there. Well, let's uh, go talk to Uncle Ken. I'm sure that will be a treat and a half. Oh, we took a little bit of a hit there. <coughs> Uncle Ken. Not bad. Mitch was a good boy to send you. But still, time to go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Before you attract more of them. Convince him to come. Mitch sent me to bring you home. Safely. Please, go to Far Harbor. Now, oh, Mitch worries too much. I'll be fine. Now go, show yourself out. Heavy sigh. Okay. Well, we tried. Um, I guess we can go back and tell Mitch and drop some stuff off. See if we can start to recover some of our lost cappage when we upgraded our plasma infused assault rifle, which is just a joyous thing to behold. And repairing our power armor. All right, let's talk to Brooks here. Looking for a bargain? You know let's it, Brooksy. Deal. Here's what I got. And here's what I got. A 10 millimeter pistol. I should have taken all of that armor back there, but... This is going to have to do... Short combat rifle. And a leaded tempered... Oh, a whole six coins that was worth. Six caps, I should say. Trapper chest piece worth 11. Well, I guess it beats a sharp stick in the eye. And he's got some 10 millimeter rounds. Uh, I guess it's worth it. Um, I really want to buy all that 5, 5, 6, too. So I guess we will. And just pay the price. There we go. Okay, let's go talk to Mitch. Mitch, your uncle is really weird. Not that that's really that much of an outlier here. You're all kind of really weird. But um, he's going to stay weird where he is instead of being weird here with you. Uncle Ken's lived on his own for a long spell. He's got color. Said the box of crayons. I found Uncle Ken. He's still alive won't come back that that's cause for celebration we see he knows uncle happen. mitch he really is all right do you think he's safe can we help can him do anything to help him out if he's still clinging on i might be able to convince a few locals to head his way and with a few more guns by his side here i i mitch is at a loss for words hush now I owe you one. No, oh, we got some coins back from him, so right on. And I thought I saw something else, but 
It went by a little too quickly for me. I guess let's check our inventory and see if we have anything that I don't recognize. Um, can't say that I do. You probably have seen it, or maybe you could have stopped it and gone back and look. Sorry when I miss things like that. I really don't mean to. But, now that we are free of um, Mitch and Charming Uncle Ken, we can get rolling on uh, helping Bertha out. I think, let's help Bertha because she's kind of worried about her people dying. I don't know where she wants us to go. Turn back the fog, secure Echo Lake Lumber. Oh yeah, we can do that. Let's head over there. And uh, then the Mariner wants us to do something with a ship. The MS Azalea, if I recall correct. Help defend Sunshine Tidings. Um, boy, I don't know what is, uh, what's priority level. Well, let's see. I know it's kind of weird. Let's try and go help Sunshine Tidings quick. Because I hate leaving my old settlements to burn. And I don't really have, I think, enough defenses in the old world to let them hold on their own. Since I don't play outside of the... This character outside of the Let's Play, nobody is really beyond what you've ever seen, which is not very high level of defense for most of their bases. Plus, we get to play with our plasma assault rifle. Get some! Gunners. Okay, there has to be more than just one. 1045 rounds, 18 10 millimeter rounds, stim pack, 10 millimeter auto pistol, dirty army fatigues. They're actually fairly decent. What do we got? Yes. Yes, you are. And let's see. Nuclear material. I'm sure there's more around here. Eight fusion cells. Okay. Yeah, thanks, Nick. Okay, what have we got? Are those both... Okay. Five bottle caps. Hey, completed. Help defend Sunshine Tidings. Cool. Uh, 15 10 millimeter rounds. Stim pack. 10 millimeter auto. What got put down over here? The settler seems to be okay. There is a super mutant here. Three bottle caps. That's, uh, there's very rarely just one super mutant running around somewhere. Alright. Let's see what that other fella had. Liking the plasma-infused assault rifle. Gonna like it a lot more when we can slap a short recon scope on it. Laser pistol. That'll fetch some coin, I imagine. All right. Now, let's reload. And head back to Far Harbor. In time to be told that Sanctuary needs our aid, I'm sure. But if that's not the case, we can go and try and help out Small Bertha at Echo Lake Lumber. Okay, we are back in Far Harbor. Hey, let's sell off the stuff we picked up from the gunners. How can the bait shop help you? Let's barter. Of course. Okay, Brooksy, we got... Two 10 millimeter autos and a laser pistol. And did we pick up any dirty army fatigues. I think we're gonna. Hmm. Maybe I can pass that off to one of the settlers at my at Dalton's farm. 
Okay, so we'll just take the 69 coin and confirm trade and go. And instead of going straight to Echo Lake, we'll drop off at Dalton here and try and give somebody those dirty army fatigues because they have a bonus to, I think, strength and agility. I don't know, I think I'm wearing the same thing. Inventory, apparel, army fatigues. Yeah, strength and agility. Just, they get a dirty set. And we get the clean set because that's how cool we are. Hey there, settler. Let's Ooh. trade some things. And let's see. I don't know if it really makes that much of a difference, but I always like to upgrade my settlers when I can. Okay, I know I gave it to him. That's weird. He put it on, but it doesn't show up in his inventory. Now that's some firepower there. Yeah. No it's like that. Wonder you wiped out those crabs. Oh, that's right. He sent me after those, didn't he? Okay, map. And Echo Lake Lumber. Fast travel? Yes, indeed. And okay, let's we are reloaded. Let's break out the ten. And there's a rad storm rolling in. Not that we mind Awful because of, we get out of, of our wonderful Vim power armor. And and sadly, as someone mentioned, we still haven't found any drains to clean. But there is some nice gack here. Let's get the lights on. Just relax there, sunshine. Okay. Looks like there's some good scavenging in here. Okay, that's it for him. One of the things that we just kept running out of as I was trying to upgrade the plasma uh, assault rifle was uh, screws so kind of on the lookout for like desk fans and things typewriters I hear the the squishing of ghouls all about us okay well we're in the neighborhood a little bit more there we go Hello. Just relax there, Mr. Ghoul. Okay, hairbrush. No, dog tags will take. Desk fan, yes. 15, five, five, six rounds too. 10, 50 caliber rounds. Some more dog tags in that other file cabinet. Stim pack and rat away in the first aid kit. 10 fusion cells in the desk. A fog ghoul with six bottle caps, military grade duct tape, toaster, not sure if that has screws or not. Nuka cherry, we'll grab that. Coffee cups, good for ceramic. Let's take a look at what's up here. Maybe nothing, maybe something. Dirty ashtray. I see a chest. And a glowing one. Who managed to be quite quiet. Why don't you just Settle down. Six bottle caps, irradiated blood, nuclear material, a subway token you can keep and take it to the train to the next life, sunshine. Duffel bag with 13, 38 rounds, plasma mine, and a pipe pistol. Let's check our crate here. Steamer trunk, the harvester. Chance to stagger on hit. Well, that's a, a unique ripper right there. Of course we'll grab that. 21 bottle caps, 845 rounds, recoil compensated, powerful pipe revolver something, and muffled painted metal right arm. Not a bad haul. There is another ghoul down there. Need to reload our 10. Okay. And down we go. Where was that other ghoul? And 
Apparently we're stacking them here. Okay, Mr. Handy Fuel will grab that. Four missiles, 11.38 rounds. That's not too shabby. Duct tape, three shotgun shells, and silver pocket watch on the feral ghoul in the side pocket. Let's check out down here. 638 rounds. He can keep the baseball. And we've got a large toolbox with Wonder Glue, flip lighter, scissors and toothpaste, sure why not, aluminum can, aluminum can, grab those. Who knew aluminum would be so valuable? Some Vim! 18 pre-war money. Did we, did we actually clear it? No, we have not. Okay, then we keep working. There's the uh, workshop. Can't use that until the fog is cleared. Apparently. Let's see what's in this structure. Besides conveyor belts. Hey Nick, slide down these, they're great. Okay. Oh, the log's hogging its turn, Nick. We're gonna have to wait. There is one of those cool loaders. That would be a fun thing to tool around the Commonwealth in. Not really very uh, fast or practical, but really fun. Get one of those, like, aliens kind of references going on with the uh, front loader fighting a giant deathclaw. Okay, coffee cup, hot plate, we'll grab those. Cue ball and dog tags, plastic and steel. Nothing in the sink. Silver fork in the desk. Another hot plate and a coffee cup. We'll grab those. Kitchen scale too. Cash register with 12 5 mm rounds. Another cash register with 1045 rounds and 12 pre-war money. Thing for antiques, huh? <laughs> yep. You know you're not a spring chicken, Nick. Neither am I. So. We should appro both appreciate those antiques. And where, where are we missing ghouls? I guess I should stop stealthing. Maybe we need them to. I'm not. I'm looking more for the ghouls right now than actually clearing things. I'm concerned that we haven't. Uh, Oh, that one was alive. There's one. Be bothering anybody now. Eight bottle caps. Dinner fork he can keep. Hey, I see a marker for someone. Um, it came from beneath the sludge. Okay. And he had four bottle caps. I heard you coming. 838 rounds and a gold watch. And there's one more. Just waiting his turn. Hey, we have secured Echo Lake Lumber. Two bottle caps and an aluminum can. Let's go back and check out all those cool cash registers and things we found. So we've got nothing in that one. Hello. Display case unlock novice. Let's help you out with your locking issue. I'm sure we can work something out between the two of us. Yes. 23, 5, 5, 6 rounds, 750 caliber rounds, 23, 45 rounds, 45, 38 rounds, 9, 44 rounds, and 23, 10 millimeter rounds. Not a bad haul at all for a uh, case like that. Check the fridge. Nope. Okay. What on earth? Who on earth is Malcolm? Hi. You got him. You got them shambles. All dead. <laughs> Fog's quiet. The land's... <sighs> For what you done, you can leave. Leave before I need to go a-hunting and kill. 
Excuse me a second there, Malcolm. Now. Let's see. Who are, Who you? are you? My name? My name. It's Malcolm. Malcolm. I own this land. Fog came and I didn't leave. Started breathing it in deep. Made peace with it. <laughs> That's funny, Malcolm. You know what's really funny, Malcolm, is uh, I just killed all the hostile things here. So, as I see it, this is really my land. So, hmm. I'll tell you what, Malcolm. If you can be a decent person, we can share Some the land. Some people in Far Harbor would like to settle here. Maybe you could share? Share ya! Uh, this is my land. Keep the outsiders away. Or, ha, let them come. Send them to me. <laughs> Send all of them to me. And then I'll hunt them, salvage their gear, cut the meat, then toss the remains for the fork. What do you say? Got caps. Make it worth your while. Okay, um, Nick, you know, you need to, uh, maybe I step away from behind murder. him. <laughs> well, actually, well, I will be party to murder. I got no use for you. It's just gonna be yours. Oh, Nick. Really? Did good. Yeah, despite the fact that just stood in front of him. 13 308 round, short hunting rifle, leathered, tempered, leaded, tempered, braider something. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so... We have liberated the land. We have run into the crazy trapper guy. That was weird. I was like, I thought Nick was behind me, but he's over there. Now there's somebody there too. And he's just kind of walking in line with us like, Hey guys, what's up? Cool. So you guys catch the uh, fog crawler game? It was pretty awesome, huh? Yeah, I really thought that uh, giant hermit crab was going to come in first, but poof, boy, that fog crawler. Okay, well, you know what? We are pretty much over time right now anyway, so you know what? We will take up residence in this beverage stand and offer any of the denizens of the fog who need a latte something to drink should they come by. And we will pick up again in episode 72, I believe. This is 71, if I recall correctly. And, uh, yeah. We will pick up again, clean out the rest of... Echo Lake Lumber here and return to Small Bertha and let her know that the uh, lumber mill is cool. She can head on down there and do that voodoo that they do so well. Alrighty, folks. I would like to thank you for joining me on our adventures once again. I would also like to remind you that I have a Twitter link in the description of the video and on my channel main page. If you're on mobile, it'll be on my channel about page. Also, if you look in the upper right hand corner, you will see a small letter I with a white circle around it. These are cards and links to other videos that I've made. I would like to thank you for watching. I hope you found the video entertaining and maybe just a little informative. I would like to invite you to subscribe and ask you to please take care.